Reception desk this way, miss. Oh, thank you. Oh, just a moment. That's my kid. Oh, chair. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Do you want to make a reservation, madam? Uh, no, I'm meeting someone here. Uh, Mr. Shapiro. And your name? Miss Grant. Uh, Mr. Stephen Curry for the airport. Oh, yes, excuse me. One moment. Uh, this is Mr. Curry's baggage. Freddie. Uh, yes, Mr. Fairhurst? Will you find Mr. Curry? Tell him his tax has arrived. Well, stop chewing. Yes, Mr. Fairhurst. Oh, Shapiro, you said. I don't think we have a guest here of that name. Well, I'd never have believed it, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your taxi's waiting, Mr. Curry. Oh, thanks. Well, that about sews me up. There's going to be some dreary days ahead, Steve, without you around. Oh, if only Susie had said that instead of you, I'd have cancelled my reservation right away. <laughs> then I'll say it. We'll all miss you. Does that make me a good friend or just a good customer? What do you think? I'll come with you to the airport, Steve. No, 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 no. You stay with Susie. Hold her hand. Otherwise, she's liable to burst into tears. That's only if she thinks you might come back. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry, girlie. I'll keep watching that plane till the wheels go up. <laughs> Goodbye, Susie. Bye, Steve. I'm afraid we know one of that name on the register, Miss Grant. Uh, pardon me. My thing's fixed. Yes, Mr. Curry. They're waiting for you in the taxi outside. Have a good flight. Thanks, I will. Uh, uh, this Mr. Shapiro may not be a resident. Oh, I have him paid from the bar room in the restaurant. Freddie. My case. It was on the counter. That's right, Miss. I remember putting it there. Taxi driver. Miss Grant. Yes? Come with me. Sir? 78, New York. Hey, I don't belong to that one. They was all together at the desk, sir. You sure of that? It was on top. I bet it belongs to that smasher who was booking him when we left the hotel. Well, you better see she gets it back, Tim, as soon as you're on your way. Hey, where's your sense of chivalry? It may contain her only 90. I doubt it. It's a bit heavy for what they wrap dames in these days. Anyway, she went along the way. I'm sorry, sir. Delayed flight to New York. Oh, no. How long? About now. Hold up, sir. Oh, thanks. Well, on your way, boy. You can't keep a lady waiting all that long for her nighty. Taxi. <laughs> well, let me know when you arrive, Steve. I'll cable you from the airport. Look after yourself now. I'll do that, you too. When you're delivering that case, think of Julie all the time. <laughs> More coffee, sir? No, thank you. Will all passengers for flight 78, New York, please assemble at the embarkation bay? Will all passengers for flight 78, New York, please assemble at the embarkation bay? Excuse me, Mr. Stephen Curry? That's right. We found a slight irregularity with your baggage, sir. Oh? It's only a minor point, sir, but we must have clearance. If you come this way, it won't take a moment, sir. OK. Oh, which way now? This way, sir. This is a, a long way around to the baggage shed, isn't it? It's a shortcut, sir. The plane's due to take off in ten minutes, and I didn't want to waste too much of your time, sir.
I'd like to see the other clerk, please. Mr. Fairhurst? He went off duty 20 minutes ago. Was it something personal? Oh, I wish it was. It's about the young lady that booked in late tonight. You must be mistaken, sir. We've had no booking since five o'clock. But she was standing here. I saw her. Was it he called her? Uh, Grant. Perhaps you have the wrong hotel, sir. Sure. And perhaps my mother was old Mother Riley. I want to speak to Stephen Curry. It's urgent. He's booked for New York, flight 78. What? Just taking off? Oh, it doesn't matter. What, what's that? What's that again? I said Mr. Curry did not take up his reservation. Oh, thanks. Shut up and get out. Oh, the shortcut merchant. This is a stick up. You're wasting your time. I've only got a plane ticket, and even that's out of date. Come on, get moving. It's right! Come on! Okay. Better get started, teacher. Certainly, old sport. I'll wait till Zaki isn't going to see the humor of this. Tell him everything's under control. We'll get the door right. Okay. Ticket? Quit walking around it, Curry. Where's that case? Oh, note case? A cigarette case? We're looking for straight answers, mister. We know you took it from the dame at the hotel. And it wasn't in the airport baggage room. So where is it? Well, I wish I could help you boys, but I just don't know what you're talking about. If you could describe this case, then maybe I could remember. Help him remember. Oh! Make you see any clearer. Perhaps you'd like some more, eh? Okay, it's all yours. Julie, how long have you been here? Best part of two hours. Well, you know I had to see Steve off. Smells like it. Oh, come off it, Julie. Only one for the sky. It doesn't matter that I've been stood up. Well, you know I had to see Steve off. If he hadn't cleared up that sparkler case for his insurance company, I might be sweating it out in stir right now. Serve you right. If you hadn't got mixed up oh, with... I didn't get mixed up with nothing. You know that. They tried to frame me. Besides, I've steered clear of trouble since you've known me, haven't I? I wouldn't be here if you hadn't. If you only cork up for a minute, we'll both be wiser. Ah! Shut up! You want to bring the fire brigade round? You'll have to give yourself up, Timber! Stop squawking, will you? Let me see you working the whole street up. Steve, what happened? Had an accident? Accident? Oh, sir, this was done to me on purpose. So you saw him off at the airport? What happened? Oh, some tough guys jumped on me at the airport. They were after the case. Well, who did it? I don't know. The point is, did you find the girl? What girl? Look, go and fix us some coffee, will you? Black, I suppose. Well, did you find her? You should put her skis on before I got back. And the case? The way those boys rolled me, it must be loaded. How much do you make it? 
Oh, between seven and ten thousand pounds. Not a night shot amongst a lot of them. That day must sleep in nothing but a money belt. I wonder just where she comes into it. Well, maybe she's just an eccentric who's got expensive tastes. Nobody carries that much dough around with them unless they're crazy. Ah, all women are crazy. Well, most of them anyway. Huh. Is that so? Well, here's one who's crazy enough to tell the police. Hey, not yet. Nobody comes by all that money, honestly. Look, let's give the girl a chance to explain. She didn't look the criminal type to me. Well, so how do we find her? Start calling up all the grants in the phone book? Oh, I don't think we need to do that. Look. Robert Grant, 6 Drew Court. I think I'll go visiting in the morning. You're, uh, giving it back? That's what I was afraid of. Where have you been? You're late. We ran into some trouble over the money. Come on! The air's beginning to smell better already. You're getting hypersensitive, Zaki. You weren't inside three weeks. It smelled like three years. What about Greco and the boat? It's all arranged. He'll ship you out, only uh, he wants his money first. Well, you've got it, haven't you? It's going to be all right. What do you mean, it's going to be? No cause for alarm. Joe's taking care of it. Remember me? But I thought you'd be in America by now. So did I. What happened to the case? Oh, it's safe enough. You mean they haven't got it? Uh huh. But don't worry. We've uh, we've been in contact. What do you mean? Don't you know just how tough your boyfriends can get? What is it, Helen? Oh, Robert, this is Mr. Um... Curry. Steve Curry. You know, the man at the hotel. Oh, yes, yes. How do you do, Mr. Curry? Have you brought back the case? Uh, no, but I'm ready to return it. Just as soon as you explained to me why I was shanghai last night. Shanghai? I'm sorry if you had any trouble, but it doesn't give you any reason to withhold the case, you know. Or what's inside it. Just what sort of a charity are you running, Mr. Grant? You unlocked it? Another accident, with a hairpin this time. Eight thousand pounds is a tidy clean-up for a blackmailer? <laughs> What reason would anyone have for blackmailing us? How should I know? I'm an outsider. Maybe Loverboy can think of Why reason. you? Robert, please. Well, I won't stand him making insinuations like that. Robert's my brother. Oh, I... I'm sorry. I... I'm sorry. Well, now perhaps you'll return the case. Okay. I'll drop it off at the local police station. You can pick it up from there. No. Wait. Do you really think it's necessary to call the police in, Mr. Curry? I suppose you tell me. Very well. The money in that case was to pay for a consignment of Persian lambskins. Roast lamb? What exactly is that supposed to mean? Just how hot are they? 
I don't understand We you. have a family fur-broking business, Mr. Curry. Oh. oh. I see. You run it between you? Well, Robert does. I'm just a shareholder. And general cash carrier. There's nothing unusual in cash transactions in the fur trade, you know. You'll be telling me next that those thugs were fashion models. Yes, Robert, who were they? I guess this is what you might call a borderline deal, Miss Grant. I don't know if you're aware of it, Mr. Curry, but there's an extortionate luxury tax on furs in this country. And an extortionate prison sentence for not paying it. Well, I think we can agree that's my affair, not yours. Yeah, I guess so. Provided my company is not involved. I'm a special investigator for Pan Atlantic Insurance. There's no insurance involved in this, I assure you. Not even accident insurance? No, not even that. Okay, I'll get you the money. Robert, I, I don't understand. What does it all mean? Who are these people you're dealing with? It's all right, Helen. There's nothing to panic over. Well, what kind of deal is it? You told me it was a straightforward cash transaction. So it is. But I... Here we are. It's all yours. Go ahead, count it. I'm going to fix another reservation. But this time, I'm going to be on that plane. If you've got any sense, Miss Grant... Save your advice, Mr. Curry. My brother and I are quite capable of handling our own affairs. Goodbye. Just a minute, Robert. What about those furs? They were smuggled in, weren't they? I don't know. Robert. I tell you, Helen, I don't know how they came into the country. All I know is that they were offered to me very cheaply. Which should have told you there was something wrong. Oh, why should it? Look, Robert, Father built up this business on his good name. If he hadn't, we'd have been finished. Helen, it's only once in a lifetime that you get such an offer. What else could I do? Where are the skins now? In the storeroom. No, it's no use doing that. It's too late to back out now. I've placed them on the Portuguese market. Then you must withdraw them. I can't. Senor Moreira has already credited my account. And I've had to use part of his money for settling the deal. Who did you get the skins from? Do that. What about the rest of the money? You've still got that, haven't you? No, I haven't. You may as well know the truth. It went to pay our debts. We're broke, Helen. Robert! Well, you know the firm hasn't been doing very well lately. So I took a chance and tried to pull up on the stock exchange. And you didn't pull up? Well, it's not my fault I haven't got father's flair. Don't you see those Persian lambs came along just at the right moment? This deal has got to go through. I think you'd better tell me the whole story. I don't know. I just answered the door and then bingo. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay. Take it easy. Come on, boy. So you didn't see him, eh? No. It's pretty obvious what they were after. Yeah, the lolly. Yeah, they must have seen you with me at the Rex Hotel last night. Anyway, my money's back where it belongs now. Did you fix your plane reservation? Yeah, I did. But it won't take long to unfix. You don't have to stick around on my account, Steve. I'm used to being pushed around. Maybe it's not entirely on your account, Tim. No, I get you. The dame with no night shift. You've got to get me away from here, Greco. Sure. In the San Maria, I take you. We sail in two days. Casablanca, Freetown, Lagos, Southwest Africa. But first, you pay me for my skins. I'll pay you out the minute I lay hands on it. You bet me you will, Zaki. They cost me plenty. And I take big risks to smuggle them in. But if you don't give me the dough, I take the skins back. You can't, Greco. I've already flogged them. If I hadn't been picked up for this crummy receiving rep, I'd have collected by now. Maybe you have. Maybe you're holding out. Are you crazy? I'm in no position to double-cross you. I hope you always remember that. Who is it? Gerald. I've got to be on that boat when you sail. You pay me for my skins, I save yours. 
I give you 24 hours. After that, I get the furs back myself. You heard what he said. Yeah, and we gotta work fast. They really got the nets out this time. Anything new, Peters? About 20 people claim to have seen Zaki more or less simultaneously in different parts of the country. The usual crop, eh? I've been through his dossier from records, sir. Uh -huh. This was his third spell in prison. Well, what is it this time? Receiving stolen fur coats. He seems to make a speciality of altering them and putting them into circulation again. Violence while resisting arrest, eh? I think we can cope with that when we find him, Inspector. That's 15 hours since he broke out. That's time to have got almost anywhere. You better check the records. Yes, sir. But I have a hunch that any lead we get will come from right here in the city, sir. You mean that this, this Portuguese dealer sent the money for the furs without even seeing them? Well, not quite. You see, Robert sent out a sample pelt to Senor Moreira. Yeah, but even so. Oh, that's not unusual in the fur trade. Deals where thousands of pounds are contracted are nothing but a man's word. And if a man falls down on his word? He's finished. If Moreira's got a sample, where are the rest? They're still in Robert's storeroom. Isn't that a bit risky? I know what you're thinking, and I know you're right. But to bring the police in now would mean ruining Robert, and I can't let that happen. Why have you brought him back into it? Robert, uh... How much have you told him? She's only trying to get you out of the mess that you got yourself into. Oh, why are you so interested? Where do those pelts come from in the first place? I was told they were shipped from Southwest Africa. Only the captain took the precaution of bypassing the customs, eh? Sometimes it doesn't pay to ask questions, you know. I don't agree. The more you know about your ground, the firmer you can stand on it. Who shipped them in? I don't know. Who did you get them from? A man called Jack Sackey. Sackey? Isn't that the man the police are looking for? Yes, I think it is. Oh, Robert, can't we scrape up enough money to pay back Moreira? No, it's too late now. I'll send it back to Furs. Well, the sooner I can find Zaki and pay him off, the better. Oh, Robert, listen to reason. Hello? Who? Yes, it's Grant speaking. I see. Yes, I've got the money back. Good. I've got it over tonight. Well, can't you come round here and collect it? No, I'm too hot to come up to the West End. You'll have to bring it down there to Wapping. We'll meet you by the old apples. The old apples? What do you mean? I... Oh, I understand. Very well, I'll be there at 10 o'clock. Goodbye. How do we know he won't grass on us? We got too much on him. Why don't we fetch it now? Why wait till tonight? Because I'm handling this thing personally. When I go out, it's going to be good and dark. <laughs> It's a lovely sight. Did I tell you? I'm a river man myself. No, you haven't told me anything about yourself. What river was yours? The Shannon? No. <laughs> no, one county west to Galway and the Corrib. I had a little outboard there. I used to share it with my brothers. Oh, boy, the fights we had over that outboard motor. I bet. <laughs> brothers never agree, though, do they? I'm sorry. We said we wouldn't talk about brothers, didn't we? It's all right. I'm not the type to burst into tears. No? No. Does that make me sound hard? I suppose I must be by now. You're not hard, Helen. You're the softest person I know. Softer than the girls in Galway? Oh, far and away. I think we might never have met if Robert hadn't been such a fool. But we have met. And whatever happens, we're going to go on meeting. Steve, I feel so secure when I'm with you. Well, that's what I sell. Security at competitive rates and for all occasions. Guarantee against famine, fire, flood, broken legs. Broken hearts? You don't need insurance against that. You're a mixture, Steve. Complicated? Mm. 
bit. How did you ever get into insurance? Oh, it's a living. And it's interesting. You get to know people. Sometimes, once in a blue moon, even somebody like you. How well do you know me, Steve? Better than anybody else in the world. Better even than you know yourself. I know that you're sincere, loyal, genuine. Miss Grant? Miss Grant? Uh, oh, Mr. Fraser. Oh, uh, forgive my intrusion. I called at the apartment for Mr. Grant, and the porter said I might find him here with you. Uh, oh, Steve, th this is Mr. Fraser, Robert's business manager. Mr. Curry. How do you do? Glad to know you. I do apologize. Oh, not for... at all. What is it, Mr. Fraser? Well, this cable came just as I was leaving the office. It doesn't make sense. It's all right. But we don't do any trade with Portugal. It, it must be a mistake. I, I'll give it to my brother. Very well. I, I, I hope I did the right thing in bringing it. Oh, yes, of course. Well, good night. Good night. Sample Persian lamb reveals anthrax lesion. Stop. Please arrange early refund. Morera. Well, that's a killer to animals. And to humans. We've got to get Robert out of this before it's too late. Well, maybe he'll see some sense now. Do you know where he's meeting Zaki? No. There's only 15 minutes to go before he does. Well, we've got to find him. What was that he said on the telephone? Something about... about the old apples, wasn't it? Would that be a, a pub or a cafe or something? Never heard of it. Unless... Unless it's Cockney rhyming slang. The old apples and pears, the old stairs. Oh, that's a lot of help. All we've got to do now is find some old stairs. No, the old stairs. They're a landmark in Wapping. I know where they are. Come on. What do you think you're doing? Look at that. Anthrax? They all have to be destroyed, Robert. Nonsense. Just because one of the skins is infected, it doesn't mean the rest are. It's a 99% chance they are. Then I'll gamble on the odd 1%. They've got to be clear. Now, look, I've kept my mouth shut so far because this isn't my business. It still isn't. An epidemic is everybody's business. Anthrax is a killer. Let it loosen, there's no knowing what panic there might be. Where are the furs now? They're in my storeroom at three bales. torment and death to animals. Some bug, eh? A most unpleasant fellow, I assure you. And does it attack all creatures? Yes, it's not a bit discriminating. Cows, goats, pigs, sheep. Men, women, children. Yes, a hundred years ago, people died from it in thousands. Yes, but surely nowadays it can be countered with antibiotics. Yes, but it has to be caught in time. So uh, an outbreak would cause the health authorities a, a big headache, eh? It would be a tragedy. You see, the anthrax spore can live for years, even on a dried and treated skin. It resists conventional disinfectants, freezing, and boiling. Well, how do you get rid of it? There's only one sure way. Total destruction by burning. What? Well, let's hope that the other two bales are free from the... What do you mean by that? Hmm? 
Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Thank you very much for your information. I've been trying to call you at your home, Mr. Robert. Why, what's the matter? The main gate's been forced and this door. They made a right mess of this. Well, have you told the police? I, I was trying to call you first. The strange thing is that nothing seems to be missing. What about Persian lamb? Persian lamb? But we haven't any. That's what puzzled me about that cable. All right, Fraser, we'll take care of this. They were here in, in three bales, they... Like that? No, 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 they had a special mark on them. Well, it don't make sense to me. Why didn't they clean the whole place out? That's right, seeing they took the trouble to break in. It must have been Zaki. If he didn't get his money, so he took them back. He knew they were the only skins I couldn't go to the police about. And he can't know about the anthrax. Anthrax? You mean those skins are diseased? There are three bales of potential manslaughter. Are you going to call the police, Grant, or shall I? Well, give me a chance, Carrie. I'll, I'll find Zaki. Oh, sure, sure, but how? With a bloodhound? He said he'd contact me again about the money. Not now that he's got the skins back. You're in the wrong league, boy. These are tough guys. But he must be found. Let me have a try. I've still got a few contacts. This is a law job, Tim. Sure, sure. But who's going to talk to a copper? Those blue uniforms give people laryngitis. But they'll talk to me, all right. Why not let him try? Did you meet any of Zaki's men? Well, there was one of them there with him when I closed the deal. They called him Teacher. Ever heard of Teacher? Not in my school. Well, I, I met him in a pub called The Green Man in the Elephant and Castle district. Oh, that's my playground. How do you aim to get the skins? Well, buy them back if necessary. With Moreira's money? Well, I've got to repay him somehow, even if it means selling up everything. OK, Tim, see what you can dig up. I'll get back to the apartment and have the money ready. I'll come with you. No, Steve, please. Let him go alone. OK. Thanks. Let's hope Tim can drag something up. speaking. Good. Where are you? Very well, I'll come down there straight away. Goodbye. You 
you've heard from Tim? That's right. Where's he waiting? What's it matter to you? Maybe I'd better string along in case there's trouble. Don't you ever know when you're not wanted, Curry? Listen to me, Grant. You're not making any slick deals. I know what I'm doing. Just get those skins back, then they're going straight into the furnace. Listen, I'm not taking any more orders from you. Leave him. He's making a big enough gesture as it is. It'll cost him all he has. Sure, it'll cost him plenty. That's what's got me worried. There's no way to talk after what he's promised. How much is his promise worth? There's no need to be insulting. Okay, but just being your brother doesn't make him man enough to go through with this. <laughs> I shan't be sorry to get my feet up by the fire. Not for me. I'm taking my missus to the pictures. There's a thriller at the Regal. All about Scotland Yard. Uh, Ryan here. If you want to find Zacky, you'll find him at 147 East Waterloo Street. 147 East Waterloo Street. Who is this speaking? Get a squad car. Yes, Down the left. I'll lay Evans at Zacky's hideout. Well, let's go and have a look. Wait a minute. You just don't crash a hideout like that. Maybe ask him for trouble. Well, what do we do then? Well, you've got to be a bit cagey, diplomatic. Oh, right. stick closer. Then. Oh, no, you're not going to run out on this rap. Rap? Come off it. This is your pigeon. Which of your pals was at the bowl past me just now? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't act so dumb. Where's Zacky? You there, just a minute. Who is it? Name of Robert Grant. Where's Zacky? Through there. 
Look here, it's a fair cop, but we had nothing to do with this. It was him. We heard a shot. I come up here and... Well, I found him standing over the body. I know he just got here. Perhaps you saw who did shoot him. No, I didn't. The lights were out. He barged past me and went through that door. The invisible man, eh? Well, he must have nearly collided with you. Didn't you see him? Nobody passed us. That's impossible. Yours? No. American job. Looks like a new type. I should say it hasn't been in the country long. Well, that's all right. We can soon find out who imported it. Look, I had nothing to do with this. Well, then, in that case, you won't object to coming with me. Okay. But first, I want to make a call downtown. You can call your solicitor from the station. That's not what I want. There's a guy called Fraser. Now, see here, this isn't Chicago, and you're not playing private detectives. You'll come with me and make a proper statement. We're wasting time. That's right. My time. Peters? Catch! All right, get him down to the squad car. I'll put out a radio call. He won't get far. What's the meaning of this? Just how much was your cut for passing on those Persian lambs? I don't understand. You understand plenty. What made you come back here anyway? Come back? I, I've been here the whole evening getting the account straight. I had a gun in my coat pocket this morning. I, I know. Sure you do. You took it. You killed Grant and you left it pointing like an arrow head straight back at me. Grant is dead? What do you expect with a couple of slugs in him? But this is terrible. W when did it happen? Tonight. 9.30. Where were you? But I've told you, here. Can you prove it? I don't know. Yes. Yes, I, I had a long-distance telephone call to a client in Belgium. The GPO bookings will confirm the time. Does San Maria mean anything to you? San Maria? Sounds like a church. Or a boat. Do you have a shipping gazette? Yeah. San Maria, Wharf 30, registered pennant. Sailing tonight. Where'd you get those matches? I don't know. I must have picked them up somewhere. Klein must have dropped them, or one of you, when you were here this morning. I... I've never even been to the Rex Hotel. Him. Planning a little trip, maybe, huh? Maybe it's a good time to remind you of my last visit here. We agreed upon a 50-50 partnership, no? Yeah. I was forgetting out of the furs. It was for everything. All right. You can have the furs. All of them. Even my cut. I'll take the money, OK? How do I know you've really got them? I got them all right. All tucked up nice and safe. Who is it? What's Tim, you've got to tell me what it's all about. What's up, what's up, then? The police have just been to see me. Robert's been killed. They're saying it was Steve. You mean they've arrested him? No, he ran out. They're saying it only confirms his guilt. Well, it does in a sort of way, doesn't it? But I can't believe it. Hasn't he been back? Where can I find him? I don't know. He won't come back here. It's too dangerous. Especially if he did kill your brother. Oh, but he can't have... A... What reason could he have? You. Who's this man? Which one of you killed Robert? It was an accident. We struggled. The gun went off. An accident. We'll have to take her to the boat. Yeah. Hello, operator. Operator. No tricks. You won't get away with this. The police know all about the money and the anthrax. Anthrax? What is this about anthrax? Don't tell me you don't know those skins are riddled with the disease. 
No, I didn't know. But you did. So generous of you to give up your cotton. You got it all wrong, Grigo. I'm willing to spit everything just as we planned. You can have half the money. Maybe I take it all. No, you can't leave them pelts in my hands. If the cops pick them up, you're for it. They'll never connect them with me. No? And what exactly squeals? Maybe you're right. You bring them to the boat and I have them dumped overboard when we go to sea. Sure, sure. No, I take the money. You get your cut when you deliver the furs.
He was thrown clear, but he's still unconscious. I could almost feel sorry for him if it wasn't for a murder rap. If I get the hoses run out, sir, but I don't think it'll do any good. Let it burn. The skins are inside. When will they learn you can't run with a fox and hunt with the hounds? Well, I take it you can supply the rest of the details, Curry? Yes, Inspector. How did you get onto it, anyway? I didn't. I was tipped off. Zaki gave evidence against a man called Captain Greco. You'll find him in the warehouse. Steve, don't leave me. 